Hello, animating kids. I'm one of the animation chefs, and I'm here to give you a tour of iStop Motion. Let's get into it. Okay, now we're looking down at the iPad here, and you can see iStop Motion is right there. Click on it to open it. In order to make a new project, you click this little plus button. The click that, another thing will open up, slide open. It'll automatically open for you, but it'll point at the ceiling. Is you need to press and tap the screen in order for this top part to show up. You tap the little camera in the corner, and it'll give you the back camera, which will uh, give you the camera that's back here. So now it'll give us some settings before we go into animating. And so right now it's on focus. So you can kind of uh, drag this to where you want to focus, and it'll keep that focused. And then you press done. Settings icon in the corner here. You know, tap that. It'll bring up a little menu. And the first thing is show, which will basically make it so it'll show things you've filmed. So, see, I take a picture of my hand. It'll only show what pictures have been taken. And if you press the icon all the way on the right, it'll show you what's currently being filmed. The setting we like to use the most is the one in the middle here, which will combine them. So it'll show you what's going on and what you have taken. We call that onion skinning. Now right below you can see is the speed or frames per second. Now you're gonna to wanna to change this to 15 frames a second for what we uh, shoot. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna tap the little settings button at the corner of one of the current uh, frame that I'm on. And you can either press delete frame, which will delete one frame, the frame that it's selected on right now, or it'll delete all the frames, or you can also duplicate the frame or reverse order of the frame. So I'm gonna press delete all the frames. And now they're all gone. So this button right here is the picture taking button. So I can go ahead and press that. And then maybe I can go and move my guy. Press it again. And as you can see, it's onion skinning right now, as I showed you before. It's very helpful to know where your stuff is. So now, if I go press this play button right here, it will replay the video that I've just taken. So then you can go press pause it, and this is where the slider comes in handy because it doesn't always it doesn't finish uh, at your current frame. So you have to drag that all the way to the right. So remember to tap the iPad lightly, just enough to press the picture, but not enough to move the iPad. So then you'll get a nice still shot from the camera. See this little musical note right in the corner here? Tap that. It'll say audio library or record. In the audio library, you can import sounds from, say, Dropbox or uh, SoundCloud or just your music library. Say you have a song you really like and you want to put it in your animation, you can do that. And so that's cool. But here at Animation Chefs, we like to have our sound effects made by our own mouths. So we can go and press record here and this little option will come up right here. It's good to know that the microphone is right here on the other side of the camera. If you look at it, there's a little hole. That's where the microphone is. So try to do stuff close to there so it'll actually pick up a clear uh, a clip of audio. So I'm gonna go and press the record button right here. And there will also be a little setting that'll come up uh, to limit the audio recording to the length of the clip. So if I have a small clip, it'll stop recording at the end of the clip. So sometimes you want that on because you don't want an extra audio. And so now I'm gonna go press record. And it'll give me a little countdown. So now when we uh, put it in there, as you can hear there, there's now some audio to the clip to make it look more realistic, like he's actually moving. So that's uh, very cool and it's very important to kind of start or end off the uh, video. And you can also remove the audio clip this way. By pressing remove there, it'll take off the audio clip. So now we've gone over most of the uh, functions that you can do inside of the filming mode. Pressing the camera button, playing, doing sound, changing the settings. And so now we're gonna show you how to get back to the gallery. And so if you tap the screen, more settings will show up at the top. And if you press gallery in the top left in the blue letters, it'll bring you back to the gallery that we were in before. And so if I, if I wanted to uh, name this file, say I filmed a lot of animations and I don't want to get them mixed, mixed up or I know what they're called and I go and edit them later, I can call it uh, whatever I want. I'll just call this one test because it is a test. And now I'll press done. And now it is called test. And it'll give me other information like when I filmed it, 
how many frames were taken or how much space it is taking up. So if you wanted to export this somewhere to share it with your friends and family or to YouTube or to anywhere else, you press this little icon next to the create button and the trash bin that I showed you before. It is uh, well known as a share button. You can do many things. You can save it to your camera roll. You can mail it to someone. You can upload it to YouTube, Dropbox. You can make a GIF of it or GIF. Um, you can upload it to the Dropbox as a, as a GIF. And so all that good stuff. And you can also preview it just to make sure you're on the right clip. I'll just export it to the camera roll to show you guys. And once you press the option that you want, it'll ask you what resolution you want your clip to be in. And if you're worried about space, you can do one of the lower resolutions, like 720 is fine. You don't really want to go any lower than that, or it'll make it really low quality. But uh, if space isn't an issue, you always want to go to the highest quality possible. So I'm going to go 1080p. And so press share, and it'll export it. And there's a little line that goes across the uh, film there. And once it fills up, it'll be done. When you go into looking at your camera roll, it should be right there as an animation. And one last thing, uh, if you've made a lot of animations and uh, it's taking up space on your iPad, there's a trash button right here. So you press the trash bin next to the share and create icons, and it'll say delete, and then the name of your animation. Now careful when you do this, because it will be gone forever. So I can go and delete this, and it is gone. That was the tour of iStop Motion. Now go out, think up some animations, make them, and then share them.